Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to lube up the uh, belt deck on the Xterra TR150 treadmill. Um, this is the lube they give you with the treadmill when you buy it. Um, if you run out of this stuff, you can buy more online. Um, but yeah, the, the first thing you need to do when you do this, it's, it's not a hard process, it doesn't look like, but the first thing we need to do is make sure that the treadmill is turned off and unplugged from the wall. So I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, the next part is um, we want to, if there's any debris trapped between the belt and the deck, we want to get it removed. And how we do that is they say to use a clean uh, t-shirt or rag or light towel um, that's not fraying. And what we want to do, so I'm using an old white undershirt here, um, but about halfway down the treadmill deck, we're going to stick this under as far as we can get it. And then we're gonna grab it from the other side here. There we go. And then once we have it through, we're gonna go up and down the entire length of the treadmill deck, like so, one to two times it says. And then we're just gonna pull it out. And then that should have got any loose debris or dirt or grime or whatever else is under there out. Uh, from in between the deck and the belt. So now we're gonna move on to the lubrication portion of this. Okay guys, so this is the lubricant they give you right here. You do have to cut the top off. Um, I used a pair of snips here to do it. Um, and then you also, it comes sealed. So you need to take off the top and then take off the tin foil here. So let's do that really quick. Okay, once you have the tin foil off, you can put the top back on. Now we're ready to apply the lubricant. Let me get you guys a little bit better view. Okay guys, so you can see um, that I have a couple stickers here. Um, and I have those as reference points for myself. So uh, what the manual said is to measure 18 inches from the motor cover, um, the, the end of the motor cover, which is where the first sticker is there. And then our lubricant, our bead of lubricant, um, we're going to run for 15 inches, which is where you see that second sticker there. So that way I know where to start the lubricant and where to stop. Okay, let me get the phone back on the tripod here. Okay guys, so it wants us to, um, we're gonna do the lubricant four to six inches in on the belt and we're gonna do it in an S shape uh, in between the two stickers here. So, um, and it wants the bead to be about an eighth of an inch. Um, so I'm just gonna stick the lubricant under the belt here. Um, that's about four to six inches. And then I'm gonna start squeezing it and I'm gonna make my S shape motion. And then I'm gonna stop right at this sticker here. Um, and then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Let me see if I can get you guys uh, uh, a shot of what the lubricant looks like under here. All right, guys, there's the shape under there. I uh, got it in the, the S as best as I could. It's starting to fan out a little bit, but it was an eighth inch when I put it down, but it, the, the liquid's starting to kind of flatten out. Uh, now I'm gonna do this same uh, thing on the opposite side. All right, guys, now we're gonna get the other side here. We're gonna do the same exact thing. We're just gonna get this under four to six inches. And then I'm going to do the s shape motion as best as I can there. All right. Okay, guys, the next step is we turn on the treadmill and we're going to walk on it for five minutes um, at moderate speed. All right, guys, well, there you have it. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. I really appreciate you guys. Um, I got my treadmill plugged back in now and got it turned on. And I'm going to go ahead and walk on it here for five minutes to get the lube evenly uh, distributed throughout the belt deck and belt. So have a good one guys.